my fellow Italians and welcome back to Hetafax. Recently, I had a poll about what video I should do next, and the majority of you picked Nation Logistics, such as how they age, how they die, what happens when they get hurt or sick, etc, etc. But the topic was so big that I decided to break it down to separate little mysteries, or logisteries, if you will. I have an age video, but I am still not satisfied with it. So today, I will be doing body parts of a nation. Nation's curls have become a huge meme in the fandom, and they are a key defining trait when it comes to Hetalia characters. Since these are literal personifications of nations, it would make sense that certain body parts would be certain part of the country. However, Himaruya has been very inconsistent with this rule since we have characters like Picardy in Japan's feudal domains and prefectures. So this is going to be a sum up of information about what we know about a nation's body parts and what they represent. But before I begin, this is what we know when it comes to what body parts, hairs, or accessories represent what. And a warning, the lack of information may surprise you and frustrate you. First of all, let's get something straight. Not all curls are erogenous zones. However, all of the Italian's curls are erogenous zones. Yes, even Ciborga's. But Ciborga's is more crumpled because of the rocky terrain that surrounds it. But it states so here that they are erogenous zones. I mean, look at how they react in this comic. America's glasses are said to represent Texas, one of the southernmost regions of America. When he was younger, he did not yet have the territory of Texas, so that is why he is depicted without glasses when he is younger. And his ahoge represents Nantucket, which is an island in Massachusetts. It's kind of shaped just like it. Massachusetts is on the east coast of the United States. Veneciano's right nipple represents Corsica, and his right pectoral area represents Savoy in Nice. Both are now French territories, so if you see France groping Italy, that's why. Greece's cross that he carries around in the chibis represents Mount Athos, which is right here. Norway's floating curl represents the fjords. Fjords are these things of Norway. Hungary's flower clip represents Lake Balaton, which is a prime Hungarian tourist destination and is the largest lake in Central Europe. France's beard represents Gorge du Tourne, which is a canyon in southern France. Wow, France has a really beautiful beard. In Gakuen Hetelio, when France is sexually harassing Seychelles, she exclaims that he is touching her Valley de Mai nature reserve. And due to the butt-shaped coconuts found on that island, we can assume that she is talking about her ass. Austria's Ahoge represents Mariazell, or a small town in Austria. Another thing I would like to point out is that Mariazell is not his erogenous zone. His mole is his erogenous zone. It, it's like an on button. Speaking of that topic, Austria says that his vital regions are Silesia. And guess where Silesia is now? And before you say anything, we know vital regions means what it means because Spain once had a nightmare where Romano jumped on his crotch. He then said that Romano crushed his vital regions. Korea's curl represents Seoul, his capital, or as Hima puts it here, his soul. So don't pull on Korea's curl, it's his soul. In the comic Before the Boxer Rebellion, England states that he got China's eastern regions back. And here it is shown that China's arm is in a sling. So we could probably assume that these are his eastern regions. The reason why Korea gropes Japan's chest is because his chest represents Dokdo. Dokdo is an island that is disputed by Japan and Korea. It's also part of the reason why Korea got banned. And then we all know about Ukraine's large tracts of land. But then we have a lot of exceptions to this rule like Japan's feudal domains and prefectures. Let's meet them all, shall we? First, let's meet the feudal domains. Here we have Aizu, Kanazawa, Mito, Owari, and Sendai. For the prefectures, from left to right, we have Hakido, Aomori, Iwate, Miyagi, Akita, Yamagata, Fukushima, Ibaraki, Tochigi, Gunma, Saitama, Chiba, Tokyo, Kanagawa, Toyama, Ishikawa, Fukui, Mie, Shiga, 
Kyoto, Osaka. We all know Osaka. Osaka has appeared both in the old and the new anime. Do you know who else has appeared in anime here? Aizu and Mito. Continuing on, we have Hyogo, Nara, Wakayama, Tokushima, Kagawa, Ehime, Kochi, Fukuoya, Saga, Nagasaki, Kumamoto, Oita, Miyazaki, Kagoshima, and Okinawa. I apologize if I butchered anything. I do not speak Japanese. All right, let's move on to Germany's Bundesländer. This is understandable because they all used to be their own countries. They are all Germania's sons slash grandsons and are all related to Germany and Prussia. By the way, from left to right in this photo, there's Spain, France, Saxony, Bavaria, and Prussia. Bavaria and Holstein. Not much is known about them except for the fact that they exist. And Bavaria has its own design. This also applies to Brandenburg. Saxony has appeared a lot, even in the anime. But not much is known about Saxon. But out of all the Bundeslands, Hessen is the one we know the most about. In the 2011 Christmas event, he is part of England's Hessian army. America is told to be very careful when attacking him because he is known to be very dangerous. And who could blame him? Have you seen that freaking scar? He was told that they would be even more cruel than England. However, when they go to attack Hessen, him and his men are all drinking and celebrating Christmas, which leads America to defeat them. Then we have Picardy, which is seen in the April Fool's event. And then we have China's domains. Forgive me, I do not speak Chinese either, but I am attempting with the tones. Here we have Fujian asleep at a desk, and he is the only one identified in this brutal Chinese meeting. And then there is Mr. Newspapers or the many Mr. Newspapers is. Yes, there are personifications of nation's newspapers. And according to Hema, all of them are megalomaniacs. So start pumping out those OCs, everyone. And so the question remains, will Himaruya ever be consistent with this? Will Himaruya ever choose between personifying parts of the nation or making those parts of the nations parts of their body? The answer is probably not. But let's leave on a more frustrating note. Here are some of the things that we really should know that we don't know right now. Canada's curl, Greece's curl, Turkey's curl and mask, Australia's ahoges, Belarus's hairbow, Belgium's ribbon, Cameroon's cross, Slovakia's ahoge, Moldova's hairs, Taiwan's hair, Netherlands's scar, a shit ton of people's glasses, Mr. Newspapers, and China's ass panda. And that was one frustrating mark higher on your history test. Thank you for watching Hetafax.